Welcome back. It appears that Kim Kardashian and Kris Jenner, the leading figures of their reality show, have resorted to increasingly desperate measures to capture viewers' attention and boost engagement for their Hulu series. This shift comes at a time when the public's interest in the Kardashian family has noticeably waned, resulting in a significant drop in both followers and viewership. Once hailed as the queens of reality TV, they no longer command the same level of fascination and devotion from audiences. The recent season premiere of The Kardashians has sparked a conversation about the show's direction and the enduring appeal of the Kardashian brand. Kim Kardashian's meeting with Gypsy Rose Blanchard, a woman at the center of a notorious murder case, left many fans scratching their heads. This has reignited discussions about whether the Kardashians are becoming desperate for views as their grip on pop culture seems to loosen. In the latest season premiere of their Hulu show, fans were quick to criticize Kim Kardashian as desperate following the unexpected appearance of Gypsy Rose Blanchard. The reunion episode, which aired on Thursday, featured Kim, now 43, arriving at Gypsy's door clad in a brown coat. Gypsy, who wore a white lace top with a black skirt, warmly greeted Kim, and the two shared a hug. Recently, Kim Kardashian broke down in tears after witnessing the dismal viewership and engagement statistics for their Hulu show. This emotional moment underscored the mounting pressure the Kardashians feel as their once-dominant hold on reality television continues to weaken. The sharp decline in audience interest has not only affected their show's ratings, but has also shaken their confidence as the reigning queens of the genre. In an attempt to revive their faltering popularity, the Kardashian-Jenner clan has increasingly turned to TikTok, hoping to leverage the platform's vast and active user base. Recognizing that traditional TV viewership is declining and that a significant portion of their target audience now spends more time on social media, they are making concerted efforts to generate buzz and drive traffic back to their Hulu series through short, engaging TikTok videos. This strategy includes everything from behind-the-scenes clips, personal vlogs, and viral challenges, to collaborations with popular TikTok influencers. Despite these efforts, the challenge remains steep. The Kardashian-Jenners are finding it difficult to recapture the level of engagement they once enjoyed. Their Hulu show, which requires viewers to sit down and commit to longer episodes, seems increasingly out of step with the fast-paced, snackable content preferred by today's audiences. TikTok's format, which thrives on quick, easily digestible videos, contrasts sharply with the traditional structure of a reality TV show. Moreover, the shift to TikTok reflects a broader trend in media consumption, where people favor platforms that offer immediacy and interactivity. The Kardashians' pivot to TikTok is a testament to their adaptability, but also highlights the challenges they face in maintaining relevance in an ever-evolving digital landscape. Their attempt to adapt underscores the broader issue facing many traditional media formats in the age of social media dominance. As the Kardashians navigate this transition, they are not just battling declining numbers, but also the perception that they are out of touch with current trends. Their once groundbreaking show now struggles to compete with the innovative and dynamic content being produced by a new generation of creators. The Kardashians' journey from reality TV royalty to social media strivers mirrors the broader shifts in entertainment, where the lines between traditional and new media are increasingly blurred. The inclusion of Gypsy Rose Blanchard, known for her infamous case of matricide, where she was found guilty of second-degree murder in 2016 after persuading her boyfriend to kill her abusive mother, seemed to many viewers as a blatant ploy for shock value and ratings. Gypsy was released from prison in December 2023 after serving seven years of her sentence. This meeting was framed around the topic of prison reform, an issue Gypsy is reportedly eager to address with the help of Kim. Despite the serious nature of the topic, the episode's dramatic setup and the high-profile nature of the participants have led many to question the authenticity and intent behind the segment. As the Kardashians struggle to maintain their grip on the reality TV throne, such strategies may only further alienate their dwindling fanbase. In an online thread, viewers expressed their dissatisfaction with Gypsy Rose Blanchard's appearance on the Kardashians, sparking a wave of criticism. Many fans felt that the inclusion of Gypsy was a blatant attempt to capitalize on her notoriety rather than a genuine move aligned with Kim Kardashian's ongoing social justice efforts. One critic slammed the family, saying, the Kardashians will milk whoever is viral at the moment for relevancy. This sentiment was echoed by another commenter who ranted, is this desperation? Like seriously, Gypsy Rose? I can't think of anything they have in common other than looking for their 15 minutes of fame any way they can. This is so weird to me. 
The disconnect between Gypsy's story and the Kardashians' usual content was a common theme among the criticisms. A third critic took issue with the perceived inconsistency in Kim's advocacy work, writing, Kim supposedly works to get people who are wrongly convicted out of prison. So how is working with someone who is justly convicted good for her work? This comment highlights a concern that Kim's collaboration with Gypsy might undermine her credibility in the realm of prison reform. Another person voiced their surprise and skepticism by saying, not the people I ever expected to see together in my life, reflecting a broader disbelief at the unexpected pairing. Additionally, a commentator chimed in on the broader implications for Kim's public image, Kim S. trying so hard to stay relevant. The criticisms reflect a broader disenchantment with the Kardashian brand, which many feel has become increasingly contrived and disconnected from its original appeal. As viewers grow more skeptical of the family's motives, the Kardashians' attempts to stay in the limelight by featuring controversial figures like Gypsy Rose Blanchard may backfire, further alienating their audience. The perception that the Kardashians are exploiting trending topics for attention rather than creating meaningful content is a growing concern among their critics. The show Keeping Up with the Kardashians, which first aired in 2007, originally captivated audiences with its focus on the family's close-knit relationships and everyday dramas. Viewers were drawn to the authentic dynamics of the Kardashian-Jenner clan, from sibling rivalries and parental guidance to moments of genuine humor and heartfelt connection. This portrayal of a relatable, albeit glamorous, family life was key to the show's early success and endeared the Kardashians to millions of fans worldwide. However, as the seasons progressed, the focus of the show shifted dramatically. The narrative began to center increasingly on the family's immense wealth, business ventures, and extravagant lifestyles. Luxurious mansions, high-end fashion, and lavish parties became prominent themes, overshadowing the familial elements that had initially drawn viewers in. The emphasis on materialism and opulence created a sense of detachment from the reality that most viewers experience in their daily lives. This shift in focus did not go unnoticed by the audience. Many fans began to feel that the show had lost its original charm and authenticity, becoming more of a showcase for unattainable lifestyles and commercial interests. The once relatable family moments were replaced by scenes that seemed scripted and contrived, designed more to promote the family's various businesses and endorsements than to provide genuine entertainment. The transformation of the show from a family-centered narrative to a display of wealth and luxury has also brought about a change in public perception. The Kardashians, once seen as relatable figures navigating fame and fortune, are now often criticized for promoting unrealistic beauty standards and a superficial way of life. Their constant focus on appearance, cosmetic procedures, and high-end consumerism has been labeled as fake and unattainable by many former fans. As a result, the show's viewership has declined. The allure of watching the Kardashians' day-to-day -day life has diminished as audiences grow tired of the contrived drama and overt commercialization. The reality that the show now presents feels disconnected from the lives of its viewers, leading to a significant drop in engagement and interest. The Kardashians' portrayal of a perfect, opulent lifestyle no longer resonates with an audience that is increasingly aware of the fabricated nature of reality television. In response to this declining interest, the Kardashians have attempted to pivot to other platforms, such as TikTok, in hopes of capturing a younger, more engaged audience. However, these efforts have been met with mixed success. While their presence on social media allows for more immediate and interactive content, it struggles to compensate for the loss of the deep connection that long-form reality television once provided. The decline in the show's popularity highlights a broader shift in viewer preferences. Audiences today seek authenticity and relatability in the content they consume. The Kardashians' brand of reality TV, which now feels more like a glossy advertisement for an unattainable lifestyle, no longer fits this mold. The once groundbreaking series now faces the challenge of reinventing itself to stay relevant in a media landscape that values genuine connection over manufactured drama. In early December 2023, Gypsy Rose Blanchard mentioned Kim Kardashian during a video interview with Entertainment Tonight. This nearly five-minute clip provided insights into the unusual collaboration and brought renewed attention to both Gypsy's case and Kim's advocacy work. During the interview, Kim highlighted the 2017 documentary Mommy Dead and Dearest, which chronicles Gypsy's harrowing story as one of the best true crime shows to watch. This endorsement not only reflected Kim's interest in true crime, but also tied into her broader efforts in criminal justice reform. Kim Kardashian, 
widely recognized as a prison reform activist, has been influential in advocating for significant changes within the U.S. criminal justice system. Her efforts have notably impacted at least seven high-profile inmate cases. Kim's work has contributed to the removal of prisoners from death row and facilitated their release from the prison system altogether. Her involvement in these cases underscores her commitment to addressing issues of wrongful conviction, harsh sentencing, and the need for rehabilitation over punishment. One of Kim's most publicized successes was her role in securing the release of Alice Marie Johnson, a nonviolent drug offender who had been serving a life sentence. Johnson's case brought national attention to the issue of mass incarceration and the disproportionate sentences given to nonviolent offenders. Kim's advocacy, including a personal appeal to then-President Donald Trump, was instrumental in Johnson's commutation in 2018. Another notable case is that of Centoya Brown, who was granted clemency after serving 15 years of a life sentence for killing a man who had trafficked her as a teenager. Kim's support and public campaigning were crucial in bringing awareness to Brown's plight and the broader issues of human trafficking and juvenile sentencing. Kim's commitment to prison reform extends beyond individual cases. She has also been involved in broader legislative efforts, supporting bills aimed at reducing mandatory minimum sentences and improving prison conditions. Her work with organizations like the Buried Alive Project and Cut 50 highlights her dedication to systemic change. However, despite her substantial contributions to prison reform, Kim's recent collaboration with Gypsy Rose Blanchard has been met with mixed reactions. Some critics argue that featuring Gypsy, a convicted individual who was involved in a high-profile criminal case, on the Kardashians could undermine Kim's credibility as an advocate for the wrongly convicted. Others believe that it might distract from the serious nature of her reform efforts, turning it into a spectacle for reality TV. The partnership with Gypsy, alongside Kim's endorsement of Mommy Dead and Dearest, suggests an attempt to blend her entertainment career with her activism. This approach aims to engage a broader audience and raise awareness about the complexities of the criminal justice system. However, the effectiveness of this strategy remains to be seen, as it must balance the demands of reality television with the gravity of criminal justice reform. Thank you for watching.